No man can untie a curse that God has made. I've given you two curses that God in his creation and wisdom has made. Let me go quickly to the final curse. Another curse that is plaguing our nation. A curse called corruption. A curse of stealing public funds and bribes, embezzling, and taking that which is not yours for your benefit. That is stealing. It has no other word but stealing. Corruption. Zechariah chapter 5 verse 4. God declared, I will send out a curse. That's not a doyo curse. I will send out a curse, says the Lord of hosts. It shall enter into the house of the thief. And when the thief is caught, goes to the courts. And God follows him there. And the Bible says, And the house of the one who swears falsely by my name. The courts give you the Bible to swear by. And you and you are a thief. And you go on to swear by the name of the Lord. It shall remain in his in the midst of this house, consume it, timber and stones, and destroy it. Stealing that does not help you, does not enrich you. Stealing destroys you. That says the word. And God passed a curse. A curse. This is God your creator. He passed a curse days. I will send out a curse. I hope you people know what a curse is. Corruption has placed Kenya under the curse of God. We cannot progress economically or otherwise because we sabotage it by cursing ourselves. Corruption. Corruption. Stealing. Stealing public funds. Things that don't belong to you. That God has not given you. And the alternative of it. The Bible says that God's riches make one wealth. And they don't come with sorrow. They are a blessing to the family. They can be passed on to the family and the family can enjoy it. Stolen wealth does not last. That one will not take a hundred years to realize that you made a mistake. When you get down to the grave, the children will start fighting for it. And I've seen it in my life in Kenya children fight for it the place that you the wealth that you labored for is destroyed by your own progeny after they've destroyed it they destroy themselves corruption does not benefit anyone it does not benefit you it does not benefit your children for whom you labor for and that is the curse that has destroyed us. In fact, verse 3 of that same Zechariah chapter 4, if the screen will put it on, it says this, Every thief shall be expelled from the earth.
please, people, if you have it on there, shall we have it seen, please? Shall, you, shall we read it? Because they might think I'm reading from another script. I'm reading from the Holy Word of God. Every thief shall be expelled from the earth. God's earth. When God expels you from the earth, where do you go to? You go where the Bible says that we came with nothing and we shall go with nothing. Naked we came, naked we shall go. Including we came with nothing. This, this suit I'm wearing is not mine. The owners put a lapel up here to tell you that you don't own it. It's right here. Perry, Perry Vale. It's not my suit. The owners are somewhere. The cars that you crave for, the Mercedes, the Predos, they are not yours. The shareholders are in Japan. It's a Toyota. Their owners are in Japan. You can't claim this is mine. You will leave it you'll go as naked as you came so the bible goes on what do we pride in that we did not receive these things we receive them here for our use while we are here use profitably faithfully as to god as stewards whom god has entrusted with this world to manage it for the sake of our people the house you live in people fight for houses is on lease i think nairobi is most 100 years 99 years isn't it 99 years if the government now decides to use the space they will take and they're keeping it on behalf of God who made the earth. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. You can, how many acres can you have? And how long can you live on those acres? Citizens of Kenya, corruption, corruption is a cancer. If you would know that it does not benefit you, benefit the country, benefit your family, we would stop stealing. I've talked about three curses from heaven. God, our creator, the curse of bloodshed, the curse of tribalism, the curse of corruption amongst others. But let those three suffice because of time. We have come that we may seek God to destroy some of these curses that have held Kenya captive. And as we go to this new era, we want to pray for our incoming president that God will help him. God will help him and he'll be used of God to transform this nation to a first world. And that God will give him and that your Excellency, God will give you and your team the wisdom, the knowledge, and the means to see this nation, a new nation, free from curses. Amen. And may God bless you as we endeavor to present this nation back to God and to serve him the way he wanted without curses. God bless you. Tu naomba uepo wako wende na si, ewe.
Wewe Bwana wa majeshi tusikie we can sing together kama uwe ndinasi hatutaki kutoka better appreciation to the word of God. We have been blessed. Thank you so much, Bishop Emeritus Bon for Sadoyo for such a powerful word. Was it a good word? Can we lift our hands to the Lord and say thank you for the word of God. Let us praise the Lord and worship the Lord for the word. The praise and worship can stand but I can ask everyone else to sit down as we go to a time of prayer and I'll humbly ask those who are leading us in prayer to take the shortest time possible. Thanksgiving will be Ian, Ian, and then confession will be Pastor Bonnie Mora, then Bishop Jane Kangede, then Apostle Melab Oyunga, then breaking the curses and the, that and destroy will be Abok. So I ask them to be standing as we go through that uh, time of prayer. Tout avoue Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth. And today we stand here 
as the people of Kenya. Give you thanks for the great things that you have done for us. You gave us independence in 1963, and from then we have seen your goodness. Lord, as a nation, we have faced many difficulties, many troubles, many storms, but Lord, you have been there. You have preserved Kenya. Lord, we have seen other nations disintegrating, but you have kept this nation together. And we thank you because your word tells us that you have good plans for this nation. Lord, we are so grateful today. Even as we face elections, we know that you are with us. We have seen your faithfulness in the past, and we know you're faithful today, and you will always be faithful. We are grateful for all that you have done for us. And that's why even in our national anthem, we declare, oh God, of all creation, bless this our land and nation. Father, may you continue to bless us with all the blessings of heaven. We thank you, bless you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. says now therefore says the Lord turn to me with all your heart with fasting with weeping and with mourning so rend your heart and not your garments return to the Lord your God for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and he relents from doing harm who knows if he will turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering. For the Lord your God, blow the trumpet in Zion. Consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, the nursing babes. Let the bridegroom go out from his chamber and the bride from her dressing room. Let the priests who minister to the Lord weep be between the porch of the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O God, and do not give your heritage to reproach the nation, that the nation should rule over them. Why should they stay among the people? Where is their Lord? O oh, Father, Almighty God, as we stand before you this morning, Lord, you are a suffering God. We come before your throne of grace, O oh, my Father. As Nehemiah declared, we have acted very corruptly against you and have not kept your word. And as the psalmist cries out and says that the, every one of them has turned aside and together they have become a corrupt. Father, you have commanded us in the book of Deuteronomy that we shall not take a bribe, O God, for a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and perverts justice. It is also written in your word, my Father, that cursed is he who accepts a bribe to strike down the innocent. Father, in the times of Ezekiel, you sought for a man to stand in the gap so that you shall not destroy the, the land. But Father, you found none. But you have told us, Lord, in your word, that if you are people who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Father, we stand in the gap this time to repent of the sin of corruption that has ravaged our, our, our land, Kenya, O oh God. We repent on behalf of our nation. We repent on behalf of the old and the young, O oh God. We repent on our 
our behalf of their families. We repent, King, of all glory and the corruption in our villages, corruption in our transport sector, corruption in our public office, Lord, corruption in our police force, corruption in our learning institutions, in our companies, in our borders, in the leaders of the county and the national government, in our churches, Lord, in our judiciary, the corporate world, the private sector, and the port so king of all glory. Father, and on behalf of the current president of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, and his government, my father, where they have failed to tackle this monster of corruption. Lord, we repent on their behalf, and we pray that you may forgive us, O Lord. And my God, as we usher in the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, the Right Honorable His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga and His Deputy Mama Karu, Mama Martha Karua, O oh Lord, give them the knowledge, give them the wisdom to be able to tackle this, O oh my Father. O oh Lord, according to your righteous acts, let not your anger and your wrath turn. Let your anger and your wrath turn away from us, O God, because we have sinned against you. May you shine over Kenya, O Lord. Incline your ear and hear, O Father. Open your eyes and see, King of all glory, our desolation, and, and have mercy on us, King of all kings. And as we bring our supplication, it is not on account of our merit, O God, but it is on account of your compassion on us, O Lord. May you hear from heaven and may you answer us today. For it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we pray and believe and everyone say, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm going to pray about repentance in this great nation of Kenya. For many have turned to idol worship, which is idolatry. They have worshiped the God of their mountains, the God of the hills, and the God of the forests. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we worship you and honor your holy name. We magnify you for who you are, King of all glory. Ancient of days, the lock of angels, the bright morning star, the great I am, the Holy One of Israel. It is in you we live and move and have our being. I therefore repent every sin. We repent every sin as a nation. Sins of mission and omission in the mighty name of Jesus. We repent every sin we have done against your perfect will for 